We are going to take a look at Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. There are a lot of people who are concerned about this player. Can he be the alpha? Can he be the number one? Hell, is he the number one on his own team right now with Deontay Johnson and Chase Claypool? Or is everything that Antonio Brown was uttering and spewing before he went bonkers true about Juju just being a complimentary guy that needs an alpha next to him to succeed? We're going to take a look at some film from 2020 and see how Juju Smith-Schuster looks on tape. When you look at his analytical profile on playerprofiler.com, what is readily apparent is he's not a downfield threat. He doesn't run a lot of deep routes. He doesn't have a lot of air yards behind his name. And, you know, for me personally, that's not good. I want my wide receivers running routes that are going to produce yards, score fantasy points. And Juju just doesn't do that. And it's not just in 2020. He, had, he didn't do it in 2019 as well. Again, 90th in deep targets, 104th in average target distance. Yards per route run, 1.49, 67th at the wide receiver position. Yards per target, 6.9. And we're going to see when we break down some of this film, he just does not get down the field, which is okay in certain degrees, right? You want the volume. You want to make sure the player is getting the targets. They're getting the receptions because those are what scores points in fantasy. But if you ain't going downfield, if you're not going deep, then that is a little bit problematic. Juju is a talented wide receiver. Nobody is disputing that. The question is, can he be the guy? Can he lead and command the opportunity share for an NFL offense? And again, when you look at what he did in 2019, I mean, he, he, he was a little bit better in yards per pass route, yards per target. It took a little bit of a dip this season. It's taken a bit of a dip this season. So he was more efficient last year, but we are going to dive into the tape and we are going to start week one versus the New York football giants, which may have been his best statistical game. Six targets, six receptions, 69 yards and two touchdowns. Here we go. Juju and a trips bunch formation. Beautiful little route right there. Good throw, good timing by Ben, and Juju looks like he's got some juice. Good grab, first down, we'll run it back. Here we go. You're going to see him split this zone coverage defense right there. Nice little shoulder dip, outruns the defender. Good hands grab, picking up the yards. Nice gain by Juju, and you'll see it from the reverse angle. This is trust here. This is Ben and Juju having played together for a couple of years. Ben knows where he wants to go. He knows where Juju's going to be. Dip through the coverage, find the spot, throw it to the location. Good hands grab by Juju. Next play right here. This is a beautiful route by, by Juju, and you're going to see him attack number 27, the safety right here, with a beautiful little hesitation in mid-route right there. Create that separation. Ben throws it to a spot. Juju with the grab. One more time, we'll run it back from this aerial view. You'll see the little slight stutter right here. One, two, creates a little bit of separation. And then Ben off his back foot, knows where his player is going to be, drops a dime. Juju with the touchdown grab. Right here, here's one of those low depth of target routes. He runs a lot of drag and crossing routes. We're going to see Juju take this. And if he had a little more speed, he'd probably outrun this defender. But Juju is not a blazer. That's not his game. But he does create a lot of yards after the catch. So right here, week one, man, it really looked like he had a lot of juice. Look at the separation here. If this was like a Tyreek Hill, a uh, Jalen Rager type, one of those speed explosive guys, hell, even Chase Claypool, they may pick up a little more yardage on the play. Juju right here in that slot formation. He's going to want to run a beautiful whip route. This is just a fantastic route by Juju. And you see the talent. We're starting with good Juju. This was probably his best looking game with his route inventory. How, he, how explosive he looks after the catch that I've seen through eight weeks of the NFL season. Right here, get the ball, get up field, make plays, get out of bounds, preserve your body. Just a, a gorgeous whip route. Run it in. Reverse it out, hands catch, turn around, and then show a little bit of that juice getting downfield. Now versus the Ravens, this is his most recent game, and I wanted to show his longest reception of this game. And it, there's nothing complicated about this route. He's going to run a, a dig route, sit down in the zone coverage. Look at the space. Nobody even around him. Doesn't have to do anything. There was nothing about the route. Scheme design. Defensive back caught looking in the backfield. Juju wide open. Actually, that's a linebacker, Patrick Queen, caught looking in the backfield. And Juju makes a big play, big gain on that play. But nothing 
nothing special, right? Again, for me, from what I watched, week one was his best game as far as, you know, his route inventory as a wide receiver and showing that explosiveness. Right here, matched up one-on-one -on -one versus Marlon Humphrey, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. We're going to see that physicality right there, right? Doesn't create a lot of separation, doesn't get anything after the catch. Marlon Humphrey, one of the top DBs in the, in the NFL. But Juju is a physical wide receiver, 6'1", almost 220 pounds. That's what he can do. Now, this is what I see him do quite a bit. It's just run and turn around, run and stop. Now, you do see the physicality after he makes the reception right here. Just turn around, get it, boom, boom, running through defenders, dragging guys down to the one-yard line. And that's what Juju is, a big physical wide receiver. Not the most explosive, not the most athletic, not the best creator of separation. And you can look at his analytical profile to, to confirm what I just told you, but physicality is where Juju makes his hay. Right here, once again, inside in his trips bunch formation, he is playing in that slot role against Marlon Humphrey, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. He's just going to find a spot in his own coverage right there. Just, you know, turn around, catch it, back up, fall down. And that wasn't even against Humphrey. Humphrey was jammed up with Chase Claypool. But it's, it's, it's what Juju is doing lately in this offense that has me just a little concerned in thinking about what Pittsburgh is doing with this offense. And if you saw Ben, he wasn't even the first read on that play. Right here at the top of the screen, Juju is going to create some stuff right here through this uh, through this beautiful play design. Ebron is going to screen down the field. The outside receiver is going to run a smoke play, and Juju is going to be wide open. Great, great route concept. Occupy the cornerback and the safety. Get Juju Smith open down the field by sending Ebron screaming down the middle, him screaming up, and then Deontay Johnson running that fake smoke route, double pump by Ben Roethlisberger. Long gain against Tennessee. And in this game, 14 targets, 9 receptions, 85 yards. So really good game for Juju in this one. Again, the physicality right here, trips bunch formation. Just get it to him. Get it to him and let him be physical, running through defenders, breaking arm tackles. That's when Juju's at his best, when he's doing stuff like that. And it, it just it makes me wonder why he doesn't get that kind of volume consistently, why they're not designing plays for him like that consistently and what you see what you do see consistently is stuff like this just run a little bit turn around catch it and get tackled and it's just not what you want out of a out of a number one wide receiver a player who we were drafting from june july august september as wide receiver seven in dynasty and currently he's ranked wide receiver 10 and i think that's a little bit too high right here at the top of the formation at the bottom of the uh, formation of the bunch uh, Juju is going to run a, a, a decent little out route, speed out, flare out, but not much separation, high ball, something that it looks like he should come down with. You want to see him make this grab. Could it have been a little better of a throw? Maybe, probably. But, you know, at the time the ball gets to him, I mean, he's already got contact. You still want to see an elite level wide receiver bring this ball down. He's not able to make it happen. Incomplete pass. He only had four targets this game, two receptions for six yards versus the Cleveland Browns. Now, right here, we'll see it from the reverse angle. Go up. You got to bring that down. Jimmy. Bring that down. Now, week five versus Philadelphia. Five targets, four receptions, 28 yards. Here we go. Juju crossing route. Catches it. Doesn't get much because he's, you know, the cornerback is right on him. Uh, he creates good separation off of the line, just enough uh, to get open, right? Ben does throw this ball a little bit behind Juju on this play. You want to see him lead him a bit more because he's got a little bit of room, but because he's got to slow down, cornerback is able to jump on top of him and, you know, catch minimal gain after the catch. Now, here he is down the screen, Darius Slay, just run a quick little, you know, in route. I don't even know what that is, just kind of run in. It's not a slant. It's not a post. Let's just get Juju the ball, right? Try to clear, create some clear out separation for him to do some damage after the catch. And he really didn't do that. You know, he got what he could. Best best reception of this game versus the Eagles. Now down here, this is the play that just really, I don't get what the hell he's doing right here, right? Wide open. Look at that. Defender's pretty far away from him. He's just going to catch it and, I don't know, point to the defender and just run out of bounds. Doesn't even try to make a play. Just... What are you doing, man? Like, 
what are you doing? Like, try to make a play. Try to cut inside. He just catches it and just drifts out of bounds. I, I just, I don't understand right there. And then versus the Texans, week three, five targets, four receptions, 43 yards, and he did get a touchdown in this game and did make a couple of nice little plays in the route running department. I really like this. They motion him to the other side of the field, and he's going to run a great route off the line, catch the ball, and then show that physicality. Boom, right there, beautiful slant. And then pick up a couple of yards after the catch. Big wide receiver. Love that play. When we're talking about seven-yard slants being like the highlight of, of the game from a, from a skill position, that's, that's not good, right? Good route. Get your head around. Use your body. Shield the defender. Make that grab. Love that play by Juju there. And you'll see it from the reverse angle. Just a good job of creating that separation. Using his body to shield the defender and falling forward to pick up a couple extra yards right there. And then we gotta end on a, on a high note right here. This is nothing special by Juju. This is a touchdown reception, just a good route concept and a blown coverage by the safety miscommunication on the defense. Juju literally walks in for a touchdown right here, wide open. I could score that, you could score that. He walks into the end zone. I'm here to say that I am not concerned about who he can be, what he is, but I do not believe he's an elite level wide receiver. I would take Allen Robinson, Terry McLaurin, any of those wide receivers over Juju Smith-Schuster as he's currently being drafted as the wide receiver 10. There's no way on earth I would take him that high right now in Dynasty Startup Leagues. I believe that he's best suited as a complimentary wide receiver to a true alpha a la Antonio Brown. I don't believe that Antonio Brown, what he was saying was incorrect. I think Juju is a high-end wide receiver too. Maybe can give you some low-end wide receiver one seasons in Dynasty, but I'm not buying him as an elite level wide receiver. Would love to see him on a new team next year opposite a top level wide out. I hope you enjoyed this film breakdown. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, recommend it for others. Stay tuned, stay locked in, and we'll be back with more. Peace.